Hi, my name is Dasha. Welcome to the Mothership. Let's see what our messages are for today. The heart of the reading today, we have the Seven of Wands, the Eight of Cups Reverse, and the Fool. So this is a brand new chapter and cycle that you're stepping into. This is where you're reconnecting with your own divine innocence. Some of you might be doing your inner child healing work, which is beautiful. And some of you have had to leave some things behind that didn't serve you, but you're coming into a happier time. And this is a more uh, spiritually in tune time where you're actively following your soul. Even though you may not know where it's leading you, it's important that you put your heart and your soul first right now. And this is a brand new start. Uh, some of you are maybe have gone through triggers and tower moments and things of that nature, and now you are at back at zero point. Um, Divine Feminine, today you have the moon and the hanged man, the hierophant. Two of Cups Reverse, Six of Cups Reverse, and the Ten of Swords. So not an easy time right now. Let me bring some clarity. Uh, you, you may also have been thinking back to past relationships. This is where you might be going a little deeper in your healing work and releasing those generational patterns and conditioning. This is you working on the Master Package. Um, if you're new to these readings, I would suggest you check the description box and start working on Sophia's Twin Flame Union package. And if you have that one already, it's time to move on to the master package. Also, book me for an image reading so that I can help you pinpoint those areas in, within your subconscious that you need to work on. So right now is the time for you to be suspended. You might be in transition. And you might be having to do things in a way that doesn't feel that free. Uh, maybe you have a lot of restrictions right now. But these are kind of for your higher wisdom and knowledge right now. Uh, because you're getting some illumination and a change of perspective right now. This is you having to be out of your comfort zone. So that you can get these experiences and this new information and this new way of seeing things. But just remember that this is not a time of knowing. You're not going to have the information that you're looking for right now. Um, so it's not a time to act. This is a time to keep working on you, working on your path. And releasing these old ways of doing things. Especially when it comes to your relationships. This can be even having healing with uh, just your parents or your family in general, your siblings, things like that, or doing that inner child healing in places that you've had wounding. Some of you aren't seeing the places that you have wounded, so that's why I suggest you book the image reading. But this is about you and your intuition following uh, the feelings that you have. This can be, if you're actively doing your healing work, this can be following those feelings back even in time to have that illumination and that release that you need in your subconscious. Because this is the time frame when you do this subconscious work. Uh, so this is very important that you use your intuition to put things together to understand why things have happened the way they've happened in your in your path and in your life. Also, I want to mention that I am available for uh, just helping you accelerate your ascension, connecting with your alignment so that you can be your very best and that you can clear out misalignments on your ascension path. And I do have coaching available. You can check the description box. Uh, but again, this is not time to act. This is not time to know. This is time to put in the work on your shadow side. Because in a little bit, you might have more of the information that you're seeking. And things will have a lot more clarity to them if you wait. 
you'll also sometimes you're just not seeing the whole picture or information is just being withheld from you, from the universe, from others, uh, for whatever reason. Divine Masculine, today you have the Magician reversed, you have the Seven of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the Eight of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles reversed. I would first of all suggest for you to look in the description box and get the mini package on Cosmic Law and Abundance. Right now you have the wrapping up of a big cycle. So this is where you're kind of just working on these final finishing touches. You're getting ready for the new phase. So you might be working very diligently, very hard. This is putting in that work, not only on the spiritual you, but also on your business and your presentation of things and just doing the inner work as well that comes along with your transformation. So some of you are having a brand new start here. Some of you are receiving more offers and more bookings and more clients as well. Uh, but this is a phase where you really need to start working on your foundation and balancing yourself, balancing your checkbook, balancing your bank account, these types of things. Don't be overspending. Some of you need to actually uh, check your banks. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's like the protocol for your debit card. Like if you do overspend, some of you have that um, whatever spend protection thing where they cover a certain amount of your uh, payment. Uh, but you need to check all that because some of the banks charge a lot of money for that, just depending on who you bank with. Um, for others of you, this is just about really coming into your manifestation power. So this can be where you're uh, maybe understanding your talents, but you need to really understand what all tools are available for you. This is mastering your inner alchemy and understanding how to be the manifester of your world. Let's get a few more cards out. Divine Masculine, you have the Magician reversed again, the Sun reversed, and the Ten of Swords reversed. So you might be coming out of a, a time of deception as well. This can be self-illusion, and this can be where you're disassociated. So again, book me for an image reading today. When you get, it, get to the heart of these matters, this is where you're able to clear these out of your psyche and out of your, um, I want to say, your silical existence. So what that means is when you do the inner work on yourself and you release these old patterns and ways of being and limitations, these can be your judgments and belief systems and things like that. When you release these, you're able to align more with who you are at the soul level. And this is where you're able to easily manifest your desires. When you get your alignment worked out, this is where things begin to come together for you. So I'm here for your help. And this is where you invest in yourself. So that you can have your desires. You can create your world the way that you want it. Uh, this is a time where you need to take matters into your own hands. And not rely on anyone else. For some of you, there's some abandonment issues you need to take a look at. And it's time for you to do this work on your inner child healing. Uh, so that you can have the blessings coming in for you because some of you are uh, blocked and your finances your finances um, are changing. But there's more you can do right now. So there's a need to take a, a look at what some of those blocks are. That's why I would suggest you book me either for the acceleration coaching or for the image reading, depending on where you are within 
working on your Twin Flame path and working through Sophia's programs. Divine Feminine, Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles Reverse, Seven of Wands. So there's a need to put your spiritual path first and foremost. This is your twin flame path. This is you working really hard, persevering, and pushing through your own self-created limitations. For some of you, you have you're kind of putting behind some of your losses or even ideas that you have that really didn't take you where you wanted to go. And this is where you rely more on understanding your twin flame contract and understanding your own intuition, understanding those messages that you're receiving from your higher guidance. Let's get a few guidance cards for today. Divine Masculine, Sacred Space. So this is where you create an altar or you go to a power place. This is where you connect with the eighth, with the earth devas. This is where you connect in with your own sense of boundaries and self-love and create this outside of yourself as a reminder. So this is about getting connected in. This is about doing grid work. This is about healing your chakra system. For some of you, uh, you might be interested in the empath program that I created. That's followed by keys to your energetic integrity. You can see all that in the description box. But this is you creating this power place, this ritualistic place where you can connect to your own uh, wisdom and guidance. So setting up that sacred space around you. The heart of the reading, we have focused intention. This is setting your intent. Your intent is a power. And it's a frequency. So this is where you really dedicate and commit and focus yourself so that you can hit your mark. Divine Feminine, you have prosperity. And this is a reminder that this universal support is available to you at every moment. Every moment is a choice. And all you need to do right now is be open to receiving. So this is where you're dropping all the illusion and you're opening up and being in that receptive nature. 